there is no township, there is no city, there is no county, there is no province anywhere in the world who has given itself the honor of having its, its namesake, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And because of that, we should be extremely proud. It is really my honor to announce the recipient of the 2024 Larry Gossett Service Award. Uh, this award honors my esteemed longtime King County Con Council colleague and friend, Larry Gossett, for his lifetime of service and civil rights advocacy. A lot of you know Larry uh, from his time on the council, from his time as a community activist, as an adult in Seattle, from his time as an activist, as a student in Seattle. Uh, he is a true icon in our community. And I stood with him on the stage at these awards many times uh, and was always in awe of the history that he was able to summon and the genuineness of his continuing commitment to the advancement of civil rights and racial equity and social justice. Um, the award recognizes an individual who shares those values, that commitment, and the actual work to get it done. It could be an individual or an organization who's made significant contributions in the areas of racial equity, social justice, and or human rights. King County residents made nominations in December, and I am pleased to announce that this year's Larry Gossett Service Award recipient is Hamdi Abdullah. There you are. <laughs> so, I gotta tell you a little about her. And you're, if you don't know about her, you're going to be one of the few in this crowd. But Hamdi is the executive director and co-founder of African Community Housing and Development, uh, a great organization, one I got to visit in SeaTac uh, this past summer. Uh, it advocates for and serves the African diaspora, immigrant, and refugee community in King County. She is a dedicated community advocate with over 20 years of experience and leadership in the community. Now, under Hamdi's leadership, ACHD recently announced an exciting project, and we got to talk about it, the Cultural Anchor Village that will serve as a hub for the community and offer a hundred, over a hundred affordable rental units across two acres, more than two acres in C the city of SeaTac. So congratulations to Hamdi Abdullah for this well-deserved award and for your contributions to the people of King County. Please join me in thanking Hamdi and making, for making King County a place where every person can thrive. Now, Hamdi would have hugged everybody in the room if she had time, <laughs> but I hope she'll share a few words with us. Let me put my glasses first. Um, I don't know exactly where to start, but just to say thank you very much uh, for all of us, including me, myself. I need to thank myself sometimes. <laughs> for being in this space together to celebrate Martin Luther King's day. I heard about Martin Luther King when I was young, back in Africa. And I'm still, and also Angela Davis and people like that were, were, were you know, my days when I was growing up and coming to understand the world around us. 
But I want to say good afternoon also. I know that maybe I have three minutes, but I don't think that three minutes will help me. <laughs> I have to start with what a great honor to be recognized on this day. I feel humbled and honored to be in this space together with Executive Dow Constantine. And of course, Larry Gasset, if he's here and if he's not here either, I haven't seen him. And all of you for this recognition. My name, as Dow Constantine said, is Hamdi Abdul, and I am proud to be the Executive Director of African Community Housing and Development. I'm joined today by my beloved husband, who always recognized, encouraged me to do. who always encouraged me to do the right thing even when there are challenges and do them and value service. Before this award, I have received King County Council member Joe McDermott recognizing my work early on when I didn't know that if anybody even recognizes my work with the medal, King County Medal of service award, and I hope that he's here today, but I'm not sure as well. I am so proud that our council member, Dave Abdegrod, is also present, as many of you here, that I cannot name them, are also here. King County is the place I started my journey home. A journey home has, my journey home has, is, has another story that I might share some other time in different spaces when I come. Working with the most vulnerable community in our Bijan Sound region, when I started my work with my community, the first meeting happened at the Starfire, and I don't think that Dow Constantine remembers. I was almost clueless about the injustice that existed in King, existed that time in King County, that was 2009, 2010. And I came to this county when the, um, the, the logo of King County has changed to give an honor, Martin Luther King, which was also very impressive to me. And when I saw the picture, I was honestly very much delighted and said, oh, is this something that can happen? So I. I appreciate that the council at that time and Larry Gossett were part of that work. I believe in lifelong learning and I am proud to have worked to further equitable services. I'm struck today by the presence of you all here in this room and watching through the live stream and I am reminded that no one who fight for equity and social justice fights alone. Dr. King worked together with many conspirators, co-conspirators, all who played a different role. For every visible leader, there must be an army behind them. My fight for justice, <laughs> my fight for justice is far from over. I have worked in King County for decades now and for all the progress we have seen. We have a long way to go. My journey home has been a journey that I have measured problem after problem, swallowed pain, skipped religious and racially motivated despise. In spite of these barriers, I have experienced appreciation like today, acknowledgement like today, love and support like today. I'm so happy today. But today is a different day. It's a day of celebration and I am so happy to have received Larry Gossett's Service Award. It's a great honor, really. This award tells me my newest chapter will be written in gold ink. 
I'm glad that our larger community is recognizing the injustice caused by the information gap, the lack of understanding around what is at stake in our community, our national and local levels, at our national and local levels, elections, and in the housing sector, especially black home ownership and how we can shape together our common goals. I hope each and every one of you in this room considers yourself as part of the fight for social equity. I hope you wait, you, you all walk the walk every day. It takes all of us, each with our own unique skills, strengths, to be part of the advancement of basic human rights. And I hope we all celebrate our accomplishment in this place and everywhere in King County. The day, till the day there is no untimed Islam, till the day there is no xenophobia, till the day there is no anti uh, uh, Semitism, till the day there is no anti uh, color of one person or the other. I truly appreciate this moment that I'm sharing with you, and I am so proud again to say that I have received this honor from King County, my county my home. Thank you. Thank you very much.